Hey guys, today's video is going to be my July boxy charm charm my July boxy charm unboxing and my June boxy charm full review. As you know, I like to test out all the products thoroughly and not just give you first impressions and let you know if the box is actually worth the money. If you're unfamiliar, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription service that is 21 US dollars per month. I pay about $33 per month Canadian. That's with the shipping and, you know, the currency exchange rate. All of the prices and products will be listed in the description box below with price conversions to how much the box is worth in both US dollars and Canadian dollars. Those are the retail values, of course. And I'll let you know next month if I thought the July box was worth the 21 US dollars or not. As always, I peeked. I'm so bad. So I see all of the like spoilers on Instagram and this month there was a lot of like two option products like you didn't know which one you were going to get either this product or this product and I just I couldn't wait I needed to know what I got in my box I got this uh quite a while ago actually almost a week ago I think but I couldn't fit this video into my upload schedule until now. Actually, as I'm filming this, it's Thursday at 3 o'clock and I'm supposed to have this uploaded in one hour. That's not going to happen, but I will try my best to get it edited and uploaded today. So, this is what the box looks like this month. The theme this month is road trippin'. I can find it hard to tell if you guys can actually see things because my monitor appears much brighter than the video is in person. Okay, I'm gonna do the things I'm least excited about first. First up we have this Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blusher infused with argan oil um, for all skin types. I mean it's a blush. In the shade 5 Desert Rose. I'm not a huge blush person. I have a lot, which is very strange, and I feel very attached to them. But when I apply blush, as I'm sure you can kind of tell today, I am not heavy handed at all. I just like a light wash of color. So, although I appreciate this, not super excited about it. This retails for only $11.99, so it is affordable. So if you really liked this and maybe wanted more colors, um, it's definitely not too expensive to purchase. The compact is really cute, but it's super bulky, and they did that stupid thing that, like, actually a lot of drugstore brands do, but I'm thinking of Physician's Formula, where they put, like, this you couldn't even use for blush. Like, what are you supposed to do with that? Like, stripe it on? Anyways, the blush itself is really pretty. Uh, it is, you know, that rosy shade like the name would suggest. It's very soft and creamy. I already have blush swatched right here, but wow, that is pigmented. And it actually does seem to blend out pretty nicely. So while I wasn't, you know, super pumped about this product, it does appear to be very nice. So, of course, if you want my full thoughts on this product come back next month and it will be there for you. Next up, this is the Chella Beauty Eyebrow Cream in the shade Taupe. I was super bummed to get this. So how it works is you have this eyebrow brush on one side. First off, if we are going to get this type of product like this packaging is just terrible. So here this is nothing. This whole part of the packaging here. You have the brush and then on this side you have the eyebrow pomade like in this tiny little cylinder. And it is in taupe. I don't know if that shade is going to work very well for me but I will give it a try. I don't have a lot of experience with eyebrow creams or pomades, whatever you want to say. But 
like I said, I will give this a try, but I hate the packaging. Like, this is so stupid. If you wanted to give us an eyebrow pomade or a cello, like, change this. Almost everyone has a eyebrow brush or, like, really it's just a slanted brush like it's really not even that thin almost everyone has one of those give me a regular pot it could be the exact same amount of product in terms of grams this has 1.8 grams but like i really hate this packaging that's enough ranting about that that retails for 26 dollars go get an abh dip brow instead okay this is the wander beauty un lashed I almost said unleashed volume and curl mascara I like the tube packaging and that it's like squishy I feel like that will prevent product from like caking up around the sides I always wondered with mascara like there's no way you're actually using up a mascara like it must get caked all around the outside anyways this retails for $24 um, I usually don't like opening my mascaras but since I have started doing these reviews okay so the brush is sorry I don't have zoom on my camera um, slightly curved and is a natural fiber wand which I prefer so I'm pretty excited to try this out actually um, one of the mascaras I've been testing out recently sucks so hopefully this is good sorry I have like a hair on my forehead that I keep trying to get while talking Okay, next up I have the Pharmacy Beauty Bright On Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask with Echinacea Green Envy. And this is made exclusively for BoxyCharm. So we got sheet masks from Pharmacy many, many months ago, also in BoxyCharm, and they were also brightening and a BoxyCharm exclusive with Echinacea Green Envy. And I loved those. And I was actually thinking about them the other week in how I really loved them, but because they were BoxyCharm exclusive, you couldn't buy them after. So I was actually looking up other brightening masks that I could try because I feel like that's what my skin is needing right now. And then I saw that this was one of two options on in this month's box. Not everyone received this mask but I am super super excited about it this retails for $38 the packaging is super cute it's like pastel purple and green I'm not really sure if you can tell I'm going to look up what the other product was that you could have received so you could have received either this pharmacy mask or the Dr. Brandt needles no more no more baggage eye depuffing gel which I also would have been happy to receive that um, I what I was really hoping for this because or else I was going to purchase a mask and not that these products are free because you pay for the box obviously but it just feels like such a good deal it feels like you got this on clearance you know what I mean okay next up <laughs> This is another product that you could have got one or the other. So the options were the Tarte Ready Set Radiate Skin Mist, which is what I wanted, or this Crown Brush Fuego Eyeshadow Palette. I was holding that upside down. This retails for $29.99. So on the more like affordable side crown is known to be like pretty affordable I have one of their other eyeshadow palettes I have multiple brushes from them and they nothing blows me away from them but I don't dislike the brand now when I open this what do you think my immediate thoughts were This looks like everything else on the market right now. My immediately th immediate thoughts went to Irma Decay Naked Heat, Tarte Tartlet Toasted, and you know, all the other eyeshadow palettes that came out since then. So, <laughs> I was not even going to keep this, but I have not done a comparison. I do own 
the Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. Let's do a bit of a comparison. Yeah, so like Cozy goes with this one. Fireside looks like this one. The shimmers look pretty much exactly the same. Warmth looks like this one. Latte looks like that one. This looks like Sunrise. What do you think? I'm trying not to blind you, but... I don't know. I do not love the formula of the Tartlet palettes. I find they don't last on my eyes, so I don't reach for this very often. I do because this is the only super warm toned palette that I own. I was not one of those people that grabbed all of the releases. Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Like, all of palettes have pretty much the same color story. I only bought this one and I don't love it. And for that reason, I don't not love it for the color. I don't, I don't love it for the formula. So that is why I want to test this out. Should I do a comparison video on the two of these? I think that's what I want to do actually. My friend, um, she's official Bex here on YouTube. She's my friend in real life as well. So it's really awesome to do these beauty videos together, I guess. That's besides the point. She also got the crown palette and she was using it, is using it, and she loves it. And she's like, no, you need to keep it. <laughs> I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to review this and do a comparison video with the Tarte Tartlet Toasted palette. It's settled. Okay. So overall, what I am most excited for is the skincare product. I love skincare products and I'm super excited to use this because I know Pharmacy is a great brand. I'm kind of excited to like put these to the test, like battle these out. And I'm pretty pumped about the mascara too, although mascara isn't something that like makes my heart flutter. But I'm, I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like the blush. And this is kind of a disappointment to me, but for $21 to receive all of these products, I can't even get my hands on all of them. For $21, I received all of these. So far, I think it's worth it. Of course, if they all suck, then it won't be worth it. But like I've said three times already, check back next month to see what I thought. Okay, jumping into my full reviews on the products I received last month in the June box. Why is that so hard for me to say? The theme last month was Caribbean Queen, and we actually received six products, which is out of the ordinary. The two months previous, May and June, we did receive six items in the box, but you typically receive five full-size items. I didn't say that at the beginning. I'm going to talk about these at random. First up, we have these Luxie brushes. This is a three-piece flawless complexion set trio this retails for $42 I would not pay $42 for these so to go through them this is the 522 tapered highlight brush and this is um there you can kind of see it better with my ugly orange walls I hate them just as a side note this is my new favorite highlighting brush I love the shape of it I don't have anything exactly this shape I have things that are similar but just don't work as good as this brush does so I really do like this this is the precision foundation brush number 660 this I would not use for foundation I find it's too like long and tapered it has a slight like pinched paddle shape here and then it's wider this way the ferrule is a little bit pinched too but I do love this for setting underneath my eyes. This does a fabulous job. It's like 
the right amount of density without being too dense and picking up too much product but it also doesn't have a lot of movement to it so you can really place your powder under your eyes I've been loving it for that purpose and lastly this is the 516 duo fiber powder brush it is also paddle shaped and has a pinched ferrule this is not my favorite. I do really like this for highlight as well. If I want a more diffused look, this other highlight brush, the 522, gives you a, a more dense, precise, highlighted look. You can really place it where you want it. Whereas this one, you can either go over again and blend out the edges, or if you want that like soft, glowy look, I will take this one because it kind of covers your whole cheekbone area and you can also bring it up on the forehead, stuff like that. So for that reason, I wouldn't pay $42 for these two brushes. I do find that to be very expensive even though I love Luxie brushes, but having two of them serve a very similar purpose for me. I use both of these as highlight brushes. I don't really feel like I needed two extra highlight brushes in the same month. From my boxy charm if that makes sense next up this was the bonus item last month this is the sol de janeiro brazilian boom boom cream um, because this is just a little mini size this retails for ten dollars i would not buy this amount for ten dollars i was using it pretty consistently until i realized i was half out of it already the smell is intoxicating it is that delicious pistachio caramel scent oh my god I love it so much Jeremy my partner loves it so much but I don't find this to be overly hydrating if you need a body butter lotion whatever because your skin is actually dry this isn't the product for that for that reason I wouldn't repurchase this even though I love the smell I feel like so many lotion companies will be able to dupe it or have something similar enough. If this smelled this delicious and was the most hydrating, luxurious body butter I'd ever put on my body, I might be convinced to buy it during the Sephora VIB sale in the fall for the 20% off. I don't know. I like it. I will use it up. It does smell as good as everyone says it does, but... It's just too expensive for me. This is the Jante Bleu Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. I got mine in dark brown. This retails for $5 and it's fine for a $5 eyeliner. Nowadays, even Maybelline and L'Oreal are like $8, $10, $12 eyeliners. It is a great dark brown shade. I appreciate that I didn't get yet another black eyeliner. I have a million of those from subscription boxes. And this is just fine. It lasts really well. It smudges out if I want it to. It stays placed when I want it to. But it is a little more on the drier side, which is my experience usually with wooden pencil eyeliners. But for five bucks, I would repurchase this. Like it's decent. It's not the best eyeliner I've ever tried, but I've also not tried an eyeliner as good as this for five dollars. So I appreciated getting that in the box. We also received a set of lashes. These are the Baddington lashes in the style Monroe. These are 3D silk lashes. Mine are not stuck to the thing anymore. I did have to trim them to fit my eyes and I made a mistake when doing that. So these lashes were more full in the center. They weren't like the winged out shape. And I didn't factor that in when I snipped them to the size of my eye. They still look perfectly fine. I didn't like mess them up to the point where they're unusable. But what I should have done is snipped a less from both sides. And I didn't do that. So now nobody can tell when I'm wearing them. Like it's honestly not that big of a deal. I can only tell when looking at them in the package or if I did like a really close up of my eye for Instagram which I hardly ever do you could probably tell but now they're a little like off centered but I don't really care I found these to be not all that comfortable 
compared to some other lashes that I've tried. However, I do not wear lashes very often and that could have totally been the reason why I didn't find these to be overly comfortable. It's just that I'm not used to them. They were easy enough to apply. They stayed on for a decent amount of time. Um, so, I mean, they're good lashes. I don't have any real faults with them except for they are $28. I, because I'm not a lash person, I would never pay for lashes for $28, so there's that. This is the lipstick I'm wearing today. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. This was another product that you could have received, you know, this product or another one. The other one was a Girlactic Liquid Lipstick, so I'm so happy I got the Ofra one. I prefer Ofra's formula over Girlactic's formula. I was going to swatch this, but you can see what it looks like. It is a like mid-tone brownie nude type of shade, really wearable. It would be flattering on multiple skin tones. I'm really happy with this. This retails for 21 US dollars. So even though I, you know, liked the lashes, I really like the eyeliner. So we're at what, 26 dollars. And I wouldn't really repurchase this, but I liked them enough. My box is paid for, so I would say that this box is definitely worth the money. But I saved, you know, the most special thing, I guess, for last. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del, del Caribe, Caribe. I don't speak Spanish. I'm so sorry. This is a makeup company started by Gabby Tiamue. She is Kathleen Lights' friend as well as makeup artist for KL Polish and she works at BoxyCharm. She came out with her own makeup line and how beautiful is this palette? It's what I have on my eyes today as well of course. This retails for $28 which is a super affordable price. I've used every single shade in here as you should before you review something. Anyways. <laughs> And I really do like it. Is this my new most favorite formula for eyeshadow? No, but I do really like it. I did find, I followed Kathleen Light's um, Kim K inspired makeup tutorial with the blue look. She used this palette, which was mostly with the shade Veradero, um, like pretty much all over the lid. Um, I had a little bit of like wear time issues when I did that. It was starting to come off like through my crease, which is actually a similar problem that I have when I use the Tarte Tartlet palettes. So I need to play with this a little bit more, but I love the mattes, although they can be a little tricky to blend out sometime, but if you just take your time to build them up, they are really beautiful. And I love these two shades, which is hard to see. This. I thought it would be more of like a darker greeny antique gold, but it showed up on my eyes pretty like true gold, which I was kind of surprised about, although on camera they look, you know, pretty similar. And I actually used this shade, which is La Costa, as a highlight as well. It's a beautiful pinky highlight on the cheekbones too. So I really do enjoy this. I think it is worth the $28, but I have... I have like $50 palettes that I like more than this. So, you know, just as a comparison, this isn't my most favorite palette ever, but I love the shades in here. Although I do kind of struggle with getting inspired to do a full look out of this palette. Like I will look at this shade and be inspired by it or this shade and be inspired by it, but not necessarily to put them together. And I think that's just me though, because I find these all to be so beautiful. I'm in love with these two matte shades, especially. I just think that they're so beautiful. Anyways, yes, so the June box was amazing. I definitely thought it was worth the money. The retail value and all of that will be down in the description box below as always. Let me know what you received in your July box and if you enjoyed your June box, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!